Hey, welcome to Seth's Tone Zone. I am your host, Seth, as always. Uh, thanks for joining us this week for uh, my Tone Zone. And this week I am bringing you a couple of Robert Keeley pedals. We recently, I'd say about three or four months ago, became a Keeley dealer again. We kind of always were, but we hadn't had a lot of their new products. They've really exploded into the market over the last couple years. He's not just doing all the mods he used to do. I think I don't think he does them at all anymore, actually. Uh, that's what he's famous for. But he's coming up with some really cool original circuits uh, to flood the already saturated pedal market with more stuff that we'll keep buying. So <laughs> uh, This week I'm bringing you the brand new, this came out a couple months ago. It's called the Aria from Keeley. And what it is, is one side is from their, it's, I think it's basically the same thing as their Keeley Compressor Plus, which is what he's really known for as his, I think it's really like his first big pedal jump into the, the more modern, everybody makes their circuit world and not just his mods. And uh, on this side is a drive. Um, it's kind of taking the same concept as the DNM drive as far as size of the pedal and the fact that you can make the compressor go into the drive or the, with a little switch here, drive go into the compressor. The DNM did that with the boost and the drive. It is more of a mid boost overdrive kind of a circuit, um, low and a high mode toggle right here. And, um, it has a pretty good wide range of, uh, excuse me, <coughs> burping here, uh, excuse me, uh, amount of, uh, overdrive, uh, tone control, level control, pretty basic. Um, the compressor has a tone control little mini knob here, as well as a clean blend, which is always really good to have on a compressor so you can put the amount in. The sustain control, I'm assuming, is the amount of compression you want, and an overall level, just to kind of boost your signal or make it even unity with your uh, amp, whatever you're using. I also thought, since there's not a ton of features on this pedal, I'd throw in the brand new Keeley Oxblood, which is their take on kind of that mythical creature overdrive we're always talking about and doing plenty of videos on here, uh, clons kind of thing. It is not an original clon circuit, it is their own circuit. So it's kind of their own thing, it's their own take on it, but without just copying the circuit, which is kind of cool, I like that. It has a fat switch on it. Uh, selects between two different clippings, overall drive control, tone control, level control. There's not much to this. Uh, both run on 9 volt battery or <coughs> power supply as we're using here. Um, well, yeah, one other cool feature. I'll go into it actually when I talk about the pedal. Uh, I'm playing, I think I played this in the last video, a uh, Fender Player Series Telecaster, brand new. This thing's awesome. I just love the, this whole series. Uh, I'm going through a Victory amp, but I thought I'd change it up. I haven't played this amp that much. Um, it's the Ritzy Kotzen. I think we did a video on it last year. Uh, it's the Ritzy Kotzen head. I have it in high power mode. It's going through the matching Ritzy Kotzen 112 cab, which has a cream back in it. It's not open, though. It is a closed back, so that's a little bit of a different sound. I'm running it as clean as I can pretty much get it. Uh, I might mess with the gain a little bit, but we already kind of have some overdrives here, so I wanted to show those off. Um, yeah, so SM57, Telecaster, because I'm using a compressor, even though I don't know how to play any kind of country riffs. Uh, it's kind of known for that. So let's, let's start with the Aria now. So, like I said, Aria is the Keeley um, Compressor Plus. The only switch it doesn't have is the, the single coil and humbucker mode. I'm not sure if that really does a lot. I haven't actually tried the Compressor Plus. I should. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit. Here's my clean tone. Here's the Compressor. Put that level up a little bit. It was a little... So, 
having this clean blend is really cool. See if you just want like a little bit, you take that back. It won't, it'll be more of your natural dry sound. Like I'll show you what I mean. This is the regular clean. It's definitely compressing. You're going to have to kind of mess with the overall level to get it to match. Um, let's see here. I'm going to mess with this tone control first. I'm going to kind of put everything at noon. Well, except the volume, but just show you what it sounds like. Clean, regular. so far is it's not like an overall tone control it's really the tone of what the compressor is doing mm. I felt like more sparkle came out but it wasn't like overbearing on the highs with the tone all the way up it's kind of what flavor compressing compressing <laughs> what, what flavor compression you kind of like um, I kind of liked it all the way up there it was nice okay I'm gonna leave it like that but I'm gonna kind of show the range of the amount of compression. I'm on. <laughs> Let's see if that's even doing anything. Yeah, a little bit. It's still squeezing, but barely. I like that. That's kind of nice. I almost like just that by itself. I'm going to go all the way to the extreme so we can hear it. That's nice. I really like that compressor a lot, actually. Um, let's hear it fully compressed as much as possible with the clean blend all the way up, too. Probably need to adjust the level to match. This is no compression. Adds a really nice sparkle when you have the tone up. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of put it halfway, see if it's really gives you a little bit of that. Yeah. You can hold that thing forever. Yeah. That's super cool. I like that a lot. I'm gonna to move to the overdrive side now, just to show you guys. I kind of have it more as a clean boost right now. Uh, let's see, tone's about halfway, level, I didn't want to get too crazy, it's in the low mode, so let's hear what this sounds like. Clean again. Here it is. That's more or less a clean boost. Here, a little bit of grit, I mean, when I go to the bridge pickup. the drive up a little bit. It's nice for like really light drive. Mess with 
the tone a little bit. Oh, nice playing there, Seth. Definitely hear a nice mid character coming through, but it's still really fat. I like that. That could be coming from this amp. This is a very fat amp. I've noticed I had the tone control on the amp up. It's only a single tone control up to, yeah, like one o'clock, two o'clock. It's got a lot of a uh, low end. So, and you don't hear that a lot in a tele, especially coming through a tele bridge pickup. I mean, so clean. Cool. Bring the drive up about one o'clock. Useful tone control. The thing I did not like about the DNM drive is you really had to tame the tone like so far back mm -hmm. just to get it to sound m more low end for me. That could be the character of the drives we're talking about here. There's so much stuff in circuits. This has a very useful uh, tone control so far that I like better. I'm gonna gain the, full gain that thing. Not gain full uh, tone control that thing. <laughs> Wow, that's a horrible use of words there. A full <laughs> treble eyes. Aha, uh -huh. I made up a word, treble eyes. There you go. That's good. It's still not even that bad. All right. Sorry for all this noise. <laughs> Full gain on the low power mode here. That's got a lot of gain for low gain mode, I guess, if you want to even call it that. I'm going to take it back. Put it, flick this little switch into high gain mode. I don't know, I don't even want to say it's necessarily high gain mode. It's more, I think it's gonna kind of tighten up the character of it. So let's hear what that sounds like. Um, yeah, um, I, it's weird when I switch from that low to high, you can definitely hear it. This is this, the high, it almost brings a lot more. I felt like treble came into Absolutely. the circuit all of a sudden. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I have the tone at like one o'clock. <laughs> more of a bass boost. I'm yeah. wrong on that calculation there. That's cool. It does seem to break up a little more intensely on the, the on the high. Yeah. It's kind of like a second tone control really. Yeah. Uh just brought in or like a fat switch like the other one has here. That's nice. Um I'm going to do what people are really going to do with this thing, which is put one into the other. Uh the more traditional way is compressor into drives. But there are some people that want to experiment and do drive in the compressor. So right now I have compressor into drive. Let's hear what that sounds like. Compressor off, just drive. Compressor in drive.
Okay, I'm going to do it the other way now. So this is going to be different. <laughs> let's, let's just hear the differences between those first. That'll just be an easier way to do it. This is compressor into drive. That just seems weird to me, but some of my, it's not bad. It's just not my thing really. The, the compressor is more prominent when you do it that way because it's coming, whatever's coming second always is more prominent. So as I, <laughs> I feel like Chris Farley doing that. Anywho, um, so that is the Aria. I, there's one more thing about the Aria I wanted to say that I read up on, so I want to feel smart. Uh, <laughs> I know that you can take the output and input and if you use a TRS cable, it splits it in a way I think it's if you have like a MIDI controller or some kind of system with your amp where it'll actually kind of give you these effects separately if you wanted them, like almost a separate circuit. So it was kind of a weird thing. I just saw it in the manual and I was like, huh, I guess that's useful. It's not stereo necessarily, but just gives you some more options. I just separate have separate outputs for each effect. Yeah. 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 I think that's what it was, which was kind of cool. I thought that was cool. Okay, so let's talk about the Oxblood. It is, like I said, a clone, clone, but not really. It's its own circuit. It's its own it's design. Clonish. It's clonish, as they say, yes. So let's hear what that's doing. Clean again. <laughs> sound like it's doing it's its own thing though i kind of like it i'm gonna mess with this clipping here i definitely gave it a little bit more uh balls or whatever you want to call it right now i have the fat switch off i'm gonna throw her on you really use, lose a lot of highs there. It's a lot of low. Probably have to compensate with the tone here. It's a lot better. I guess they just probably mean tone wise. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I like it. Has it has that kind of sonic characteristic that is similar yeah. to a clon, especially in the lower gain ranges. Mm -hmm. They definitely they take it somewhere else. It's, I you know who loves this thing is uh, well we seeing how we have Chapman guitars I can talk about Rob Chapman. They did a video where he was doing all these different clons and they throw that in. And I know he liked that one a lot. Cool. And he tends to like a ton of gain. Like, I know he has his pedal from Mythos, and I think it's based off uh, their Milner, which I love, but it has, like, a ton more gain. So I think he uses it more in conjunction with a dirty amp. In fact, I'm going to kind of just do that. Let's just hear. i have probably turn this drive way down. Um, dirty this thing up a little bit. It doesn't have a ton of gain on this amp or anything, but... A lot of gain. <laughs>
let's just amp. Let's drive it. Isn't that Duhas song? Is it? I think so. <laughs> Duhas. <laughs> Cool. Um, I can go in way more detail on that ox blood, but it's really, really hot in here. We're in the middle of summer with no AC in this room, so even though it's nine in the morning. Anywho, thanks for joining me this week. Come down to Alva's, check out these Keeley pedals. We have tons more. I just didn't get a chance to do them all today. We got the double tracker in, we got the Abbey, uh, it's like a chamber echo. We got a whole bunch of new uh, Keeleys and of course every other brand we have down here with over 500 pedals now. So we got a lot of stuff. Come check us out. Join me next week in whatever video I'm doing. I'm not sure yet. It's always a fun adventure here at Alva's. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks. <laughs>